Hello there. How are you? That was very creepy. So, in today's video, we have our BoxyCharm base box for the month of January 2022. This is a $28 a month subscription. So, if you want to see what I got, hear my thoughts and opinions, and want to know what the heck took me so long to film this, then keep on watching. All right, so today is January 16th when I'm filming it. It is 2.32, no, 2.35 in the afternoon. And I received this the first week of January. But if you do not know, January 2nd, I tested positive for COVID. And I, your girl, was sick as a dog. You know, I didn't have the, like, the coughing, like, the lungs and stuff, I had the stomach issues, so the stomach pains, I had the throwing up, I had the nausea, I had like, oh my God, it was like that type of, like it was just terrible. I was even in the hospital, so um, if you don't know, I'm diabetic, so anytime I get sick, it kind of messes with my sugar, and because I was throwing up and I couldn't keep anything down, um, I couldn't keep my medication down, it, 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 it was just a big mess, a big mess, so... I feel about 80, 85% better. I finally can keep my head up because there for a while, like as soon as I would like sit up, I'd have to like lay back down because I felt like I was going to pass out. It was so horrible. Oh my God. But um, I was um, diagnosed with the Omic Omicron, if I'm saying that right, that the new virus for COVID, that is what I had. And um, yeah, I don't wish that on my worst enemy. No, I don't. Anyway. So I have a lot of boxes that I'm behind. I'm going to film about three or four videos today to try to like get them out. But very quickly, when I was sick, I did film a ColourPop haul. Now I did not put it up. I still have to edit it. Let me know if that's something that you guys would still want to watch because... I was sick and I was kind of complaining, you know, um, it was like when I first start getting sick. So let me know if you still want to see that. If not, I'll just delete that and get rid of that video. Anywho, you are here for the BoxyCharm base box. Now, because I've been sick, I haven't even been on YouTube. I don't even know like any spoilers, what's in here. I knew nothing. So this will be a first impression for all of us. I think I told you this is $28 a month now. Okay, so when you open her up and you see the red, then you know it's the base box. So, let's see what we got. Okay, what is the theme for this month? Do they, oh, refresh right here. And then on the back tells you everything that's in your box. It gives you description with all the items and gives you prices, which is nice. Okay. The first thing that I see is from Dragon Beauty. I notice Dragon Beauty has been in BoxyCharm a lot lately, like de November, December, and now January. This is the Lip Job Liner Plus Lip Pencil Sharpener. And this is in the shade 20cc or 2.0. I don't know. How much is this puppy? All right, so this is $18. This is Nikita Dragon's line. What else is in there? Anything? Let me see. Okay, so the sharpener is on the bottom here. All right, so that's good that it does come with a separate sharpener. I like that. This is like long. Isn't this like a long? <laughs> we like long things on this channel. But really, all seriously, it, it seems like very long, doesn't it? I mean, you'll 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 have this for a lifetime. All right, so it's, of course, the kind that you sharpen. And I love this shade. It's more like a brownie shade. Like, I would not wear this on its own. But, like, the lip color I have on today, it's actually from ColourPop. And I would put this on and then put the red shade, like, on top of that because it's too brownie for me just to wear. But um, it'd be nice, like, you know, lip liner. So, all right, we have that. The next thing is this thingy. What you be? This is from Pure. It's a fully charged, I think it's a mascara, magnetic mascara. And I just got this. Where did I get this from? Ipsy? I can't remember. The only video I did so far this month was my Ipsy. Oh my God, I can't even open it. It was my um, Ipsy, the plus and the bag that I get sent to me every month. So um, it had to be from my Ipsy. 
fully charged. I've tried this before and it's okay. It's not like my favorite, but it, it's fine, you know. And this is $22. This has vitamin E in it, right? Let's see. Vitamin B. And it says this mascara helps condition and strengthens eyelashes to help prevent premature lash loss. All right, let's see what the wand looks like. All right, so it's like, you know, just like a regular wand. It smells like mascara. One thing, thank God, I, when I had COVID, I did not lose my smell or my taste. My taste is like a little off. Like I could tell if I drink certain juices, you know, it's like, oh, it doesn't taste like, you know, but I still have some kind of taste and I didn't lose my smell. So that's good because that would have been just awful. All right. So we have a mascara. Then we have from Earth Harbor. I love this brand. So there used to be a subscription box called Bella, the Bella box, and it was all skincare. And that's where I heard this um, brand from, Earth Harbor. And I love it. Everything. There's not one thing from Earth Harbor that I got that I didn't like. It's mainly like serums and stuff like that. So this says it's a bomb. So let me read more about it and see, because I don't think I've ever got this. That's what it looks like. And you guys know I love me some like, I think it's a lip balm, right? Let's see. It says, as sea fruits and tropical super berries playful melt across your face. All right, so $38. So this is not a lip balm. I guess you can put it on your lips if you want, but it's more for your face. So you have a safety seal. Oh, and it does smell like fruity. And you see what it, that's what it looks like. Let's feel it. Oh, well, that's wasn't expecting that it doesn't feel smooth like once I do this now now it's smooth but when you first touch it it feels like beads in it you know not like a lip balm you know I mean it's not a lip balm but you know what I mean um but it feels nice though this is you know what what I would love to use this so I think I will use it for at night right under my eyes because you know as you age you know you get a lot you start getting those fine lines and stuff because your skin gets dry you know and I noticed I started getting these like fine lines like right here like right here and here and this one used to be a lot deeper but because i'm using this type of stuff and serums and things like that every night right here i notice the wrinkles are not as deep as what they once were so definitely definitely going to use that for this okay i'm definitely excited and if it works i will definitely pay the 38 dollars to replace that all right so i'm happy for that okay we have two more things and both of them look like palettes all right, so we have from Wonder Beauty. This is the Wonderless Escape Palette. Now, this brand has its hits and misses. I'm not going to lie. Um, and this is, holy cow, this is $42. It's the Escape Palette. Now, where's my knife? All right. Oh, I mean, it's pretty. Okay, so you have a mirror here. Um... I'm not going to swatch it. You know what? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> There's that blue in there. I can't help it. I have a, um, oh no, I just, I did that. Look what I did. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to swatch it now. Oh, that makes me mad. Okay. So there's three shimmer shades. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't like the way that blue swatched. This one swatched really nice. Let's go in with that blue again, just to see. Yeah, it's buildable. That is gorgeous. Yes, it is. All right, let me do like two mattes. This formula is a little different from what I'm used to because I remember like the little palettes. I didn't like it too much. All right, and that's going in one time. So I'm sure they're buildable, let's see. Yeah, very, very pretty. All right, so we have that. I don't know about $42 though. I don't think I would ever pay $42 for that palette. And then the last thing we got is from Aesthetica. This is the cream contour kit for $40. And 
Aesthetica is one of those brands that is expensive as well. It's kind of like a Manica Dar, like Bella Pierre, you know, and it does have its hits and misses. Um, I will not open this because I'm just getting into cream products, but I know I won't use this. I've got this plenty of times over and over again with the subscription boxes and it'll just sit there. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather give it away. I do have that big 50K giveaway coming up. The reason why I have not done it, as soon as I was tested on January 2nd for, um, positive, I had my husband bring that big box downstairs so that way it wasn't in this germ room or anything like that. And I wanted to wait until I finally test it negative in order to put everybody's box together. It's going to be about 10 winners. So probably today, maybe tonight after dinner, I'll get the boxes ready and then I can film the video tomorrow. So make sure you have your post notification bell on that way when that video does go live, you know when it's up because I do not put giveaway in the titles or the thumbnails or anything like that. But I'll definitely put this in a feature giveaway. So let's recap everything that I received in my box for $28. So we have this cream contour palette. We have this pretty palette. Um, it's very pretty. I'll definitely use it. Um, I just would never pay the price. How much? $42? I mean, that's like an ABH palette. You know what I mean? But it's not like we pay that in these subscription boxes. This is probably what I'm really excited for. I'm really into these balms and serums. It's like during the day, <laughs> I want my face to look as matte as I possibly can. And then at nighttime, I do the opposite. I want it as greasy and oily as I can make it. You know what I mean? So uh, I'll definitely get some use out of that. I'm really happy to get this. We got a mascara. You guys know I'm a hashtag natural lash type of gal. So I used it three to four different mascaras every time I do my makeup. So I'll never not get mascaras. And then we got this um, long, I just can't get over how long this lip pencil is, you know? I mean, like I said, th th this will last you forever. And I'm really glad it comes with a, um, what do you call this? A sharpener. I like that as well. So I got variation. 23. So if I had to rate this on a scale of one to five, one, um, I want to throw it in the trash and five, I'm doing cartwheels, probably about a three, two and a half to a three. I'm glad that I got a lot of makeup and stuff. It's just, I don't know. I'm not like wowed over like, you know, you, you want a January start of a new year, like to, I don't know what it, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. It's all right. It's not my worst. It's not my best, but it's not my worst. Like if somebody said here, uh, uh, give me this for $30, would you buy it? I probably would, you know, but, um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you got your boxy charm. Let me know if we are box twins or what we got. Let me know all the tea down below. And yeah, that's everything. I'm getting ready to open up my boxy charm premium now. And like I said, I have a few more boxes that I'm going to be doing. Let me know how you guys are feeling. And um, please, guys, stay safe. Really. Stay safe. All right, guys, please like this video. It really does help me out. Make sure you comment. That really helps me out as too. It only takes a second. Let me know what you think of BoxyCharm. Leave an emoji. Something, you know. Let me know how your day's going. All right, guys, that's everything. I really, truly missed you, and I'm glad to be back. And thank you for all your prayers and your well wishes. It really means a lot to me. It really does. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. And most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I get back in the program. I get back in the program. Even though I haven't filmed in like two weeks, it feels like I haven't filmed in months really weird.